Hello everybody out there in uh, YouTube land, land. I thought today I'd show you uh, some of the records we brought on our trip to Nottingham last weekend. Uh, the f two record shops I visited that day, well three, uh, but I only actually brought from two. Uh, Rob's Records, I'm sure people of the Midlands are aware of that uh, record shop. Rob's been there for years and years and years. If you've never been, I advise you just go to have a look the things in there are amazing um and i also went to big apple records and also went to Th records 33 right so the first album is as you can see please please me it's a mono copy this is quite interesting because it's got a it's an earnest day sleeve not ej day and these are like uh the rarer sleeves anyway it's also got an empty tax code on it which dates it from between january january to july of 1963 so it is actually a first pressing but it's classed as a third or fourth person because it's not on the gold and black label it's on the yellow and black label the condition's actually quite good i mean i've cleaned all these records by the way and put them in the nice new sleeves um but to be honest, that the book price for that at the minute is anywhere between 75 and 150 quid. And I didn't pay anywhere near that. I'm not going to say what I've paid for these. Uh, but yeah, like I say, first album the Beatles made and it was a very good one. Right, the second album is also another Please Please Me. But as you can see, this has actually got a small mono on that one. Where that one is a large mono. If I put them like that, you can you can probably see see the difference. Um, this has got sold in the UK text on it, where the other one hasn't, meaning that it is actually a later pressing. Although it's still got the flip back sleeve, and as you can see, this is this has got the uh, Gerald and Lofthouse and and Patting's pending, I think it says on it sleeve. So the sleeve's probably worth a little bit. Uh, fortunately, it's got a little bit of writing on it there, well pen marks. Um, this is what they call a seventh pressing, so it was pressed around 1966 1967. Same songs, same mixes, and everything. Uh, book fast flat at the minute is anywhere between 15 and 75 quid. There's a bit of a strange one, this one. Um, Beatles the Decker Tapes. Uh, the cover on this actually isn't that good. Uh, it's got staining on the back there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's rare because it's it's got three Lennon McCartney songs on it. Where it was uh, when it came out as a Silver Beatles, the Lennon McCartney songs weren't allowed on it. So you've got Light Dreamers Do, uh, Hello Little Girl, and Love of the Love. They're the three Lennon McCartney songs. In essence. It was recorded in, I think it was January the 1st, 1962, at uh, the Decker Studios. But then Decker turned them down and, I think, that, if I remember rightly, signed Brian Paul and the Tremolos instead. But a few of the songs that was recorded on there, the Beatles did actually go on to record with uh, EMI. Again, at the minute, that is going anywhere between 10 and 50 quid. Right, the next one we've got is an original first UK pressing of Sometime in New York City by John Lennon, Plastic Ono Band and the Elephant's Memory. Uh, it's got the original sleeves and everything in it. Um, plays really nice. A few marks. Again, it's it's a double album. Well, I say it's a double album. It's actually one album and then you've got a live, uh, a live album with it as well. Uh, originals of these are actually quite there now. Um, and the, if you forget one, they are usually like basically worn out. But this one, apart from a little bit of stain in there, um, is okay. The inner sleeves aren't aren't that good. But then again, I've put whenever I buy my records, I always like um, clean them and I, I put them into new anti-static sleeves. Anyway, I, I keep the original ones with it. But yeah, so that again, at the minute, that is worth on eBay around twenty-five to thirty-five pound. Again, I didn't pay anywhere near that for it. The next one is a copy of Abbey Road. Now, there's nothing really very special about this one, to be honest. It's um, 
It's a very early 1970s repress, so it does have, uh, although it doesn't have Her Majesty there, it has Her Majesty listed on the record label. And it's a slightly lighter, um, lighter green Apple label. Plays nice. Again, a few, a few uh, surface marks on it. Um, at the minute, the value for that is around 15 to 25 pound on Discogs and on eBay. Again, didn't pay anywhere near it. This next one's a, uh, a bit a bit of a strange one. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to love Captain Scarlet. So I, I just bought this basically for the cover. But then, as you can see, it's Thunderbirds on one side and Captain Scarlet on the other side. I haven't actually played this yet. I've cleaned it. Um, but looking on eBay, that is actually going for, for, for between... 25 and 35 pound at the minute and I, I will tell you how much i paid for that and I, I paid the parcel sum of three pounds next one right stay with the hollies this was the hollies uh debut lp as far as i can remember little bit of crease in there on the court on the cover um but again as far as i can work out this is an original uk first pressing on Parlophone, uh, plays actually really, really nice. It's a, it, it, but it has got a very slight warp, so they can see some of the songs that are on it. There's not actually many original songs; they're nearly all cover versions. Um, but yeah, very nice thing to have. Uh, at the minute, that's worth anywhere between fifteen and thirty-five pound, even in this condition. Got one a little bit better that you know you can get up to about 75 quid for. So, yeah, the next one is a bit of a, a struck look with this one, to be honest. Right, this is the original Electric Light Orchestra's first debut LP, and it is an original UK first pressing. It's got the textured sleeve. For those who don't know, this was like the first. Uh, ELO record when they evolved from the move to ELO and in this condition I'm, I've got to say this is actually as close to mint as you can get for a used record I've played it, it sounds absolutely fantastic uh, at the minute that goes anywhere from 50 to £125 on Discogs and on eBay again I paid nowhere near that for that Nowhere near it at all. Right, so all of those records there. Um, were from Rob's Records, if I remember rightly. So like I say, if you if you ever go to Nottingham, go and give Rob a, Rob a, a visit. He's a, he's a lovely chap. His knowledge of records and especially uh, Soul and Motown and things like that. You know, it's brilliant. And it's worth just going in. You know, he won't force you to buy anything if you just want to go in and, and have a look around. He's quite happy. If, you know, if you want to have a chat with him, he's quite happy. You know, it, but uh, like I say, he's been there for years and it's a must if you go to Nottingham and you like your records. Like these next, I think there's about four, were actually from Big Apple Records in Nottingham. The first one is 20 Rock Legends. Not particularly rare. Um, I actually got it because it's got some really good songs on it. Deep Purple, ELO, T-Rex, The Who, Status Quo, Jimi Hendrix, Small Faces, Fleetwood Mac. I think it, it was a pretty common sort of like record when it was released. I think it was released in about 1980 on Ronco. Hey, can you remember that record company, Ronco? A bit like Kato, wasn't it? Like I say, there's some really, really good songs on it. My favourite is that one there, actually. HQ Park, by the Small Faces. Um, then you've got like, the Boston Tea Party and things like that. So, like I say, some really, really nice rec uh, songs on that. And I will tell you, I paid, I think it was a fiver for that one. So, that's, that's not too bad, is it? Here we have Hollis Sing the Hollies. Gatefold Sleeve. It is an original pressing, but the thing about this, it is actually quite rare, because if you see there, PCSJD actually means it's a South African pressing. 
and again condition is really really nice on that um, and I think I paid if I remember rightly two pound for that and at the minute on eBay that's going for between 25 and 50 quid the South African one even the, even the uh, original UK ones are going for like 35 pound some good songs on it again nice cover I've like I say I've cleaned all these records on that there which is my record cleaning machine um, now this is a bit of a strange one well it's not strange John Lennon Plastic Ono Band live piece in Toronto the record is actually mint it's like it's never been played uh, I've, put, I've put it in, an, in a new sleeve um, but unfortunately no cover so I don't really know what that would be worth today um, I know with the cover they were worth quite a bit, but again, I paid £2. That was from uh, Big Apple Records again. Like I say, it, if you have in, in Nottingham, Big Apple Records is in West End Arcade, I think. And it's worth uh, going to have a look. Again, really, really good selection of records. It's not all like Beatles and stuff like that. You know, he's got a really, really nice um, mixture of records. And the last one is... Not a very rare record, really, but just one that I like because I like some of the songs on it. The best of Scylla Black. Ah, Scylla, eh? Like I say, there is some good songs on it. There's some that, that aren't like Michael Petit. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll show you the track listing if you can see it. And, of course, it's on Parlophone. I think this is a pressing from late 69, early 1970 from the research I've done. Again, not really worth a hell of a lot of money. Um, but the interesting thing about that is two of the songs that was on uh, da, 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 on the Beatles Decca tapes are actually on this one. But of course it's Scylla singing and not the Beatles. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that. And like I say, if you're in Nottingham, Records 33, must, must uh, see record shop. He's got thousands of records. Big Apple Records. Again, really, really good um, selection of records, uh, all fairly priced. And last but not least, my old mate Rob, at Rob's Records. Like I say, worth a visit. You never know what you're going to find. Okay, folks. I will be posting a few more um, videos later, probably this week or not next week, but the week after, because I'm back at work soon. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been informative for you. And after all, it is only just a little bit of fun. So it's Saturday today. So if you're doing anything, enjoy yourself. Remember, it's very, very hot today. So keep in the shade, stay safe, and we'll see you all soon.